So, so Stacey got in contact with me. Right, yeah. And um, said, so there's this dog. She said, do you do commissions? I said, no, I don't do commissions. I said, I haven't got time to even do my own paintings. I don't do commissions. And she said, but there's this dog. And I said, I oh, know, but we've all, everyone's got this dog. I've got this dog. You know, dog are fantastic. She said, but the whole community loves this dog. And unfortunately, he passed away two months ago. And she said, can you, can, you, can you paint this dog for Jim? Because this dog, everybody's got his grandchildren. Yeah. And sure enough, I've come here and everybody's come up to me. Yeah, and they've all gone, oh, we've got grandchildren. And we've well, got great one grandchildren, great, great, yeah, great grandchildren, great, great grandchildren. Um, so we're here really today to celebrate Gun. And I've, I've got to say, I didn't know anything <laughs> about this, not a word. <laughs> Stacey and the email and yeah. she's, I mean, she's 30 years younger than me, and it, so that's how the community works. We're all friends, it doesn't age, it's immaterial, you just love, love the dog. And she didn't, all she told me tonight, when she, I, I didn't even, I brought Gum, who died in, end of November, just uh, through his, for his uh, 15th birthday, and I'd, yeah, I'd actually, uh, I didn't know anything about this. I've just lost my trip here, which is going to, yeah. you, you yeah. picked this up. And they surprised you with it. Yeah, she surprised you. in your car keys. She's in your car keys, and she said, oh, well, yeah. the angel, you know, one of your dogs is whinging and blah, blah, blah. And I had guns acid in the top box because I was going to spread his ashes with another dog at last year, again from cancer. At Goodwood Estate, where I raced all the dogs, and every dog I've ever owned has all been spread there. I've only ever owned, I've only ever had 16 dogs, three of them are still alive. So that'll be, I've still got three, so that'll be, he'll be number 13 to, to go down. And I didn't know, I didn't know anything. And then when you, I'm sitting there, I believed every word she said, and then I'm sitting there, I'm drinking a pint, and you, you end up going, blah, 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 blah. And then it said, oh, my special dog. He is pricked up a bit, and I'm thinking, oh, it's a special dog. And then it said, this person's got the dog, this person. And Mark Swartz got one, I went, and I looked over at Mark, I went, you? And he went, mm. <laughs> And then he gave me a name, and as you can imagine, I just went, I collapsed, because... I'm so much about the dogs, and I just—I made a fool of myself on the uh, yeah. give the speech. But uh, <laughs> beautiful speech. Yeah, well, <laughs> but I just—he he means so much to me, and he's such—I'm just in dumbfounded shock. One minute he's alive, I take him to the vet the next day. So he's got a brain tumor, and he, we, nothing we can do about him. And I stood there with him in my arms, where we did the deed, and I just collapsed. And that is such a beautiful painting and resemblance of him, and it's, I thank you very much for that. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I was trying not to hear any of the stories, which is hard, because everyone wants to talk about gun. Yeah. So it's very hard for me to sit. Don't tell me any stories, because I want to hear it from Jim. Yeah. And it's so nice to see a community celebrate a dog, not the musher, the dog, because the dog, like you said, is, is what makes the sport so so amazing, really. It's that bond between you and and I, I'm quite vocal, as you can tell, <laughs> but and I unfortunately in this sport there's a lot of jealousy. If you win, it's a, it's a competitive. Yeah, race. it's a very it's competitive. competitive. Uh, competitive. You cheat, you know. But. We've got over that with him. We've got over that because they just love him. And Mark, Mark, he's got his son. And people just, they just loved him because he was so friendly. Like a lot of dogs would be snappy. And, he, and everybody come up and he, you have little, you could come up with little kids like this and he could and play with them. And he's just a character. He's, a, he's, he's just, He's bigger than life. He's, 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 he
you, you'll know, you'll talk about him rather than the guy that won. And that's, that's what it should be all about. It's the dog, not the mushet, because without that, you're not going to win a thing. And he's, he's got quite a claim to fame with Angelina Jolie. He was he, he was. I hear he's been smooching Angelina. Well, <laughs> he, he will tell you that he was, she was after him. Yeah, I will tell yeah. you now she was after me. And I, I turned her down and said, no, I've got to go with me, dog. Right. We, we actually did. Did you do that trick of, oh, look at my dog? Yeah, I said, yeah, you know, no, I, I didn't even need to. What, what, what happened was, he's come over. Would you like to ride my dogs? Pardon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get out of the back of the sled. Uh, in, in the film, in the, in the, the sled, in the, sled, in the <laughs> film, Raider Tomb Raider. And um, yeah, I mean, it's um, so it's kind of famous. And then he also did uh, Blue Peter with Helen Skelton. Did I say Blue? Oh no, no, it wasn't Blue Peter. It was uh, um, no, that was his. That was his son. He, he did. Um, Chris Packham, you know, and, and then run over one of you know, he's, he, he's been on lots and lots of stuff. But uh, when you when you meet him, he's such a look at him. He's such a gentle dog, and he was so friendly, and he was amazing. He's just he, he was he's just an amazing dog, and he was such a character. And he was he wasn't barky. Just people come back, and he stood out. He just you looked at him. Wow, he was jet black, which you don't normally see. And he, and he because he did, he, he just stood out and he stood there. You looked at him and go, wow. And everybody loved him. The club president wanted dogs from him, and he, he's just, just an amazing dog. And he had a great character, and you could come up to him, anybody from that side to that side, and he would greet you and think, you know, this is it. This is it. And he, it's just, it's what a sled dog is all about. And the whole community got together and paid for, for this commission. Which I'm amazed. I, I, Trace, Stacey told me that. And it, oh. yeah. but credit to you. Credit to you and credit to your dog team and especially Go John. On. You know, he's, really, he's really touched a lot of hearts. I mean, this is called Aviemore Dreaming, your book. And there's, there's something very romanticised about dog sled training and dog sled racing with a bond between the musher and you and Glenn are a perfect example Thank you. of what it's really about. Thank so, you, but well it's, it's, it's um, and you know, long may it rain, you know, that's what it's all about, it's the musher and the dog, and that's what it should be about all the time. If you, if you haven't got a bond with that dog, it won't perform for you. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> perfect timing, guys. <laughs>